It was just about six years ago that Nissan introduced the 350Z, a car that brought the Z name back to Nissan and re-established the brand in the sports car world. This is Ron Kino with Motor Trend. I'm here with the all-new 2009 Nissan 370Z. This new 370 takes the Z name to a whole new level. Not only is this car lighter and smaller than before, it is also more powerful thanks to a new 3.7 liter V6 that puts out 332 horsepower, 26 more horsepower than before. Nissan was able to shed about 75 pounds overall. And how they did that was by using aluminum in the doors, the hood, and the hatch. They also cut weight in the wheels, the audio system, and even the fuel tank. As I said before, this new Z is quite a bit smaller than the previous car. Nissan cut around four inches from the wheelbase, three inches from the overall length. It's also about 3 tenths of an inch shorter in height. Yet the rear track is about 2.2 inches wider. All said and done, this car has a lower, wider stance as much meaner and fiercer than the previous car. Now this new Z is instantly recognizable as a Z. It still looks fairly similar to the old car, yet there are several styling cues that differentiate it from the old one. First up is the new barbed headlamps. Back here we have a sweeping line reminiscent of the original 1970 240Z and the roof is cantilevered, making it more distinct from the previous car. Nissan also offers a sport package for this new Z, which includes a rear limited slip, as well as these 19-inch forged raised wheels. It also includes these Akibono brakes. Up front, we have four piston calipers and 14-inch rotors, and in the rear, two piston calipers. So at the rear of this new 370Z, you can see it has a cleaner, meaner look. There's even an integrated rear fog lamp for the European market, which the U.S. won't get, unfortunately. You can also see over here the barbed tail lamp accent, again, sort of like the front headlamp. And when you open the rear hatch now, you notice that whereas in the 350Z there was a strut tower brace, which really compromised cargo capacity, this new 370Z got rid of that. Now one of the biggest criticisms with the 350Z was its interior. In other words, most people thought it was kind of cheap. So for the 370Z, Nissan's added softer touch dash material, even a leather wrap center stack, new gauges, a new steering wheel. It's very race-like, uh, has almost an oval shape. Nissan will also offer a touring version of the Z, which will include leather interior, a Bose stereo, available nav system, Bluetooth, and a home link transceiver. One of the coolest features on the new Z with the six-speed manual is what Nissan calls synchro rev match. If you're downshifting, say from third to second, it'll automatically blip the throttle and match the engine speed to the gear. And now for the test results. The 370Z accelerates from 0 to 60 in only 4.7 seconds and through the quarter mile in 13.3 at 105.7 miles per hour. In 60 to 0 braking, the Z stops in only 106 feet. The Z went around our unique figure 8 handling test in only 24.9 seconds at 0.73 G average. And in lateral acceleration, the new Z put up a whopping 0.99 G average. The biggest complaints with the 350Z were that it was a bit heavy, maybe a little underpowered, lacked some character as far as styling, and the interior was a bit low rent. But with this new 370Z, Nissan has addressed all those issues. They've lightened it, they've given it more power, they've sharpened the exterior styling, and the interior is much more upscale. So overall, this new 370 is the funnest, most capable, and well-rounded Z ever.